the most widely publicized of all military actions during the spring of 1948 was the capture of the small Arab village of Deir Yassin. This operation was undertaken by the Ergun and the Stern Group, two dissident underground organizations which did not accept the authority of the official Jewish leadership. 250 Arabs lost their lives in the conquest of this village. Newspapers in Palestine and elsewhere reported the indiscriminate massacre of men, women and children. The official leadership of the Jewish community in Palestine harshly condemned the dissident organizations which had conquered Deir Yassin. However, the Ergun and Stern Group rejected all charges against them and insisted that all Arab casualties fell in the heat of battle. The Deir Yassin action intensified the flight of the Arabs. Many fled their villages before a single shot was fired, fearing another Deir Yassin. The poor small village on the outskirts of Jerusalem thus came to symbolize the flight of Palestinian Arabs and the Palestine refugee problem. There were no stringent orders from political leaders to the regiments and units to make all efforts to behave as a most humane conquering army. The results would be that the Arabs would not flee. There were also objective circumstances which had to be taken into consideration. Arab propaganda exploited the incident of Deir Yassin, exploited all the horrifying things which took place there. But we know what happens in battles all over the world, in Korea, in the world wars. Regular armies have harmed civilians in a far more serious manner. The manner in which the Arabs exploited Deir Yassin, I would say, was the greatest boomerang of that time.